I actually had a lot of fun and uh, fond memories, to be honest with you. I just remember a tremendous amount of um, ability to explore. And I remember vividly going to the roof of our little house and look at the stars. And I used to imagine that these flying stars were places that people could actually go one day. And uh, that curiosity led me to where I am today in so many ways. I still see myself as that little kid who wanted to change the world, who was running around the streets of that little town barefooted. And I worry about the big things in life. I don't worry about how we are going to change the world. I just worry about changing the world. And that's exactly how I was when I was a little boy. So I was hungry. I knew my family was hungry. I knew we had very little. And there wasn't much time to think. It was time to act and time to do. And I wanted to make a better life for myself and those around me. And there were opportunities in the United States and I seized that opportunity and that's how I came. Even though I was caught once and I was taken back in the uh, border, I think that that's one of the early lessons that I learned about perseverance and having a dream. And my dream was I was gonna go work in the actual fields and I was gonna send money back so my parents and my siblings could actually eat. What subsequently happened is that I realized that reality was a little bit more challenging. When you're coming from a humble beginnings into a country like the United States, it is true that the opportunities are there, but the sacrifices that you have to make are enormous. And that's when I realized after about a, about a year, I realized that if I wanted to make something with my life, I didn't think that I was gonna be able to go back to Mexico anytime soon. The reason why I chose to study the brain, to work in the brain, to explore the brain, to learn from the brain, is because the brain is still the unexplored frontier. I was fascinated that such an amazing organ can create memories, can allow us to love each other, can allow us to do amazing things. Every day I kind of go into the operating room. The first thing that I am impressed is that patients are willing to put their life in your hands. To me, that is, that is a great trust but it's also a great responsibility. That means that uh, people say, oh, you look like you're very relaxed. The reality is that I'm not relaxed. I'm using all that energy to keep myself calm, all the training, all my ability to keep myself focused. I do it on purpose, so that way I can put all my undivided attention for that patient. The greatest privilege that I have is when I get to do many of these surgeries with the patients awake, and I have to map their brain, understand where their memories are, how they move their arms, leg, face, how they talk, how they think, how they memorize things. And I get to interact with them as I am actually doing their brain surgery and I get to take out these extraordinarily complex brain tumors. And that to me is the essence of life, the ability to relate to that human being, the ability that that human being has the greatest gift. They are the true unsung heroes because they are the ones who are laying down on the table, putting their hands down and trusting that we, myself with all our team, are gonna be able to get them from where they are to outside of the operating room with no deficits and hopefully cure of their disease. That is to me the essence of what I, it fascinates me and it makes me want to do more and more and it just, in so many ways, it allows me to then peak in that curiosity is how can I make it better for them so one day they don't have to do that. So it's interesting, in my research, I am in the business of getting people like me out of business doing what we do. I saw America as full of hope, the land of opportunities, the place where there are people who are so extraordinarily giving. There are people in the United States who are the most beautiful people in the world, to be honest with you, and that they, um, they are willing to sacrifice everything to make this world a better place to live. And that's how I saw it when I was growing up. And I came to the United States because I had a dream of not only bettering myself, but going back to those early years that somehow, somewhere, if I kept working at it, maybe one day I was gonna be given the opportunity to also change the world.